Hey everybody, it is the Garden Fairy. I am here with another haul. Uh, it seems like I've been doing nothing but hauls lately, um, which is bad because I need to control myself. Uh, I need to stop shopping. I need to like go to a, a shopping anonymous group. Like, yes, I have a problem with purchasing and buying things. <laughs> it's just been crazy. I have been going to all these stores and I just can't seem to be like, okay, I don't need that and just walk away from it. I'm like, no, I need it. I have to buy it today. So <laughs> yeah, this has kind of been my issue lately, but some of the things, some of the things that I bought um, are actually really good deals. So I have kind of a good reason to buy them. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, one of the Disney stores that's close to me is closing, which sucks because, you know, I love the Disney store and I just enjoy getting my products in person rather than you know, online sometimes. And this is one that is actually um, closing pretty soon. So um, they had a closeout sale for 60% off the entire store. I wanted to videotape while I was in there, but I was just afraid that someone was going to be like, no, you can't do that. And so, and they were only letting like 12 people in at a time. So I was like, yeah, I don't want to do that right now. But let's go ahead and get into the things that I got so I actually went two days I went on Friday and I went today just because I wanted to see what else they had and today they had very little stuff I mean they had like plush and dolls and that was about it when I went on Friday they had a good bit of stuff like you know journals mugs um some shirts yada 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 a lot of different things it wasn't just plush and like toy related items although I do collect toys but sometimes you want other things too so I guess I should start off with the stuff I got today I'll do that so today I got this Mandalorian um poster book for my husband or he was with me he picked it out and it's 16 double-sided pull-out posters really cute if you like Star Wars stuff. It's really cute. Let's show you a few pages. It's really cute. The child. So yeah, you could see. It's really cute. This was like $3 um, with the 60% off. So yeah. At first, the lady was going to ring me up for $7.99. And I was like, oh, excuse me, 60% off? And she was like, oh yeah, yeah I'm so sorry. You have to pay attention because sometimes when things are on sale, they won't always ring you up for the right price. You have to pay attention because, you know, it's not their money, so they don't care. <laughs> I'm sure it was just an honest mistake she made, but still, I was like, um, excuse me? And then I got this. Speaking of toys, I got this. Um, I got this because I like Rey. I collect a lot of Rey items. She's one of my, she is um, my favorite Star Wars character. And there's a glare, but it's just a little figure. Um, Star Wars toy box figure. It was $5.99, 60% off. It was like $2.40. So this is the back. They had some other figures there too, like uh, Darth Vader was on. Where is he at? Oh yeah, Darth Vader, this one. It was $12.99 though, and I was like, nah, I'm good. I'll stick with this one. And then I got... The ink and paint key, which is cool because I missed out on it um, on the online when they didn't release it online where you had to like purchase, what was it, like 20 or $25 worth of stuff to get it for free. And that day I just could not find anything that I wanted. I was like, I don't want to just buy something just to get this. I was like, nah, it's not really worth it. So I ended up passing. I was like, nah, it's okay. I won't get the key. Well, they had like two of them at the store and I was like, oh, can I get one? And again, she was going to ring me up for the regular price, which I believe was like $12.99. And I told her, I was like, well, is the ink and paint key also 60% off? And she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I don't know. I think sometimes they just like want to hurry up and ring people up where they're not always paying full attention. That's why you got to pay full attention because it's your money and you want to get the best deal. So I got this for $5, which is great because... I mean, I did want it, and to get it for an extra 60% off is really cool. So that's that. And then the last thing I got today. Look. 
it's Lady from Lady and the Tram. I usually don't like to buy a lot of plushes because as you can see from like behind me, I have a lot of plush. And up there, I have a lot of plush too from the Minnie Mouse attraction. Um, I wasn't really like planning to buy a lot of plush, but I just love the Minnie Mouse attraction stuff. So that's kind of the exception. But I had to get her because she was so cute. I was like, oh, I had to get her. She was $9 um, originally. 20 or excuse me yeah, originally $20 <clears throat> excuse me and I got her for $9 so all in all not bad all of those items I only ended up paying $22 for for everything I just showed you so the key the figure the plush and the posters were $20 $22 with tax okay on to um the other stuff that I got um excuse me <laughs> Um, so Friday they had more stuff and I ended up buying some really awesome items on Friday from the same, steam from the same store. Um, it was 60% off as well. And I ended up buying Ta -da! <laughs> the castle collection journal. They had like two of them. One had a big gash and I accidentally grabbed that one and I looked at it. I was like, Oh no, this one has a gash on it. I'm going to go get it. <laughs> The better one so yeah i got that i'll take the little thing off castle collection journal this was originally 25 dollars. i got it for 10 dollars. so it was like 60 oops i forgot there's a little poster in here i got it for 60 percent off which was only 9.99 that's one of the pages it's really really pretty journal like i love all the castle collection journals i would get them all but I just I already have a lot of journals and stationary items but that's some of the pictures really cute so yeah that was a really great deal I was excited about that I was like ten dollars heck yeah sign me up all right let me just put this little thing back on here I don't know why I like this little thing on here I'll keep it on here until I get ready to use it it's really cute and it has this little, um, I don't know if you guys can see, it's like a little um, bookmark with a little dangly um, charm. All right, and the last thing I got from that shop, or shop Disney, from the Disney store, yay! <laughs> I got the Minnie Mouse um, Main Street Limited Edition. There was three of them. This one lady got one while I was still in line. I was like, oh my God, they had that. And then there was another one and I was like, oh, I have to get it. I have to get it. Let me take the plastic off because you can see it for better without. She has Main Street um, printed on her skirt and there's her little stand. Ah! Oh my gosh, as she tumbles out. The reason why she's so like loose is because my husband actually took her out and was gonna display her and I was like wait I still have to show that show everybody my doll before you just display her gosh husbands sometimes they just do things without asking oh her leg is a little bit wiggly sorry I'm <laughs> her leg is a little bit like wiggly and loose she just fell out of her box right there but look her pretty skirt luckily she's just mainly for display but it's kind of sad that her leg is wiggly like that I wish I would have known that oh well there was really no way look at her shoes though those are so cute ah yeah her legs a little bit wiggly like loose like how would you fix that that's kind of that's kind of a bummer right there but she's really heavy and um but she's really pretty look at her eye makeup and her little hat her top hat right here she has a little necklace on with one of those um cameos and just really really pretty i love her so much i didn't realize she was so loose in the box yeah but my husband already had displayed her and, I, and he's like look what i did and i was like who told you to take her out of the box <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> But anyway, yeah, this is what she looks like. I'll try to hold her this way she doesn't fall again. This is what she looks like. And there's the, the Main Street stuff. So that is super cute. I love the box, how it looks. The design on the box is really cute. 
All right, so those, oh, and this was originally 120 and I got her for $47. So really good deal on that. Um, I was like, I'm, have, I'm gonna have to get her because I know she's gonna. Hey guys, sorry about that. Uh, my phone kind of cut out because my phone said, oh, you don't have enough storage. So sorry, you won't be able to record the rest of your video. I don't know if you guys have the same problem, man. The struggle is real when it comes to phones. I need to just buy like a bigger storage thing on my phone, but I'm back. So yeah, as I was saying, I got a really good deal on that doll. Now that I found out her leg is wobbly, I'm so glad I got a deal on it. Cause could you imagine paying $120 and then the legs wobbly? That would just irritate me so much. But anyway, I just got through deleting like 50, maybe 60 photos and videos. And it's like, okay, your, your storage is now freed up like 30 gigabytes or whatever. I'm like, oh, cool. <sighs> Anywho, back to our video. <laughs> all right, so I showed you guys all of the stuff that I got from the Disney store, 60% off. I know a lot of Disney stores are going to be going out of business soon, which sucks because now we're going to have to really rely on online shopping, which it's good and bad. I like online shopping because obviously I don't have to go to the store. I could just click, 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 but then you have to pay for shipping. You have to pay for all these other things. You have to wait for it to come. You know, you might be out, you might be at work when it comes, you know, so that's another thing. And then obviously, you know, when it comes to you, is it packaged well? Sometimes things come broken or messed up or they pick something that, you know, like, you know, I know now with the whole backpack thing, that placement sometimes is a really key factor. You can't pick your placement when you're ordering online. So it's kind of a risk. And then like things like that with the doll, I would have never known that her leg was wobbly. Um, I didn't know then because I didn't take her out of the box at the store. But still, when you order stuff online, you may get a doll that has a wobbly leg, you had no chance to even pick which one you wanted. So I understand the struggle is real with online shopping, but it's also convenient because you don't have to get in your car. You don't have to go around people who like to stand close to you, even though there's X's on the ground that say, hey, you stand there, I stand here. I'm sorry, I'm ranting now. I'm sorry, I am one of those people. I'm kind of a germaphobe, but that's just me. You know, I just don't like, even before all this stuff was happening, I didn't like people in my personal space. Please you know, at least stand a foot or two away from me. Don't be like right in my area. And now that things are kind of, you know, going on, people are sick and things like that. I just prefer, you know, just out of respect for the other person, even if you don't really feel that it's necessary, perhaps that's your personal opinion, but at least have respect for other people. That's all I'm saying. You know, don't have to be, well, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna just stand close to that person because, you know, it's not a big deal to me. That's fine. It doesn't have to be a big deal to you, but for others, it may be a big deal, you know? So I just, I personally, and like I said, I was like this before all this stuff was happening. I just don't like people in my personal space. This person was hacking and clearing his throat. And I was just like, dude, can you like move that way just a little bit? There's an X on the ground for a reason. You stand on your X. I stand on my X. We're all happy. <laughs> so, <laughs> end rant. <laughs> but anyway, back to the haul. Um, so I went to Hot Topic and I found a really awesome figure that I really love and I actually had it in my eBay watch list. I had to remove it because I got it. It is, oh you can't really see it. It's the Stitch that's laying down. It's Lilo, oops, Lilo and Stitch. It is the Showcase Disney and this is such a cute item. Like, yeah, it was like $17. I didn't even use my hot cash because that's the only item I found that I really wanted in the store. But I was like, I'm still going to get it. And look how cute. <laughs> He's just laying there like, oh, I had a rough day today. This is how I feel a lot of times when I come home from work. I'm just like, oh, just, just let me be. Just let me lay. <laughs> so <laughs> He's so cute. I really had to get him so I could put him on my desk or on my, I probably can't put him there because there's a lot of stuff up there already, but he was just so cute. I'm starting to be a bigger and bigger Stitch fan. First, you know, I didn't really care for the movie that much, but um, I like Stitch the character. I think he's really cute. He looks kind of like a puppy slash alien, which is really cute. So I got that from Hot Topic and then I went to another Hot Topic and I found these items. I found, first I found the Winnie the Pooh. Uh, it's like a wallet slash phone case. So I'll show you guys, open it. Oh, it has like tissue. 
right there it says um some paths are destined to cross and it's really cute so you can put your phone in here and then you can put your cards and stuff in here so i really like that because it doubles as a phone case and a wallet so and it has a little clutch handle this is awesome i was gonna get a backpack but i was like do i really need another backpack do i no i don't <laughs> and plus i have another backpack excuse me coming <clears throat> sorry um so i was like this is gonna be this is gonna be just perfect I did use my hot cash, however, for the items that I'm going to show you. Certain items I cannot show you because my husband does watch this video and um, some stuff I bought for him for our anniversary. So I'm not going to show you those things because he will find out. Here's a little zipper in the back for your change. It's just really cute. It is lounge fly. So it was $22.90, but I got it for cheaper because I used hot cash um, for this order. But yeah really cute and then lastly i think that's last yeah lastly <laughs> i found some pins yay i love pins 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 um they are the i'll show you the ice cream pins um they're like mickey mouse minnie mouse stitch poo i think this is the little kitten from aristocats um oh my gosh marie and um, this is the dog from Dalmatian. So I really don't care which one I get because they're all so cute. So I'm going to go ahead and open these because I don't want to wait. I just want to open them now and see what I got. <laughs> okay. Where's the poster? Oh, I think I already know. Yes! I'm so happy with this one. Stitch. I love Stitch. Yeah, he started, he's been growing on me. I've been getting more and more Stitch stuff. Like, I have a Stitch backpack now. I have a Stitch Wishable. <laughs> I have a Stitch shirt. Like, he's, like, been really growing on me more and more. So, that is my first pin. I love it because I love Stitch. Yeah, any of these, I really don't mind. They're all so pretty. Like, I don't even care which one I get. Now I hope I don't get another Stitch. I hope I get a different one. Okay. Trying to figure out where this it doesn't really matter. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> I got another stitch. Oh, that's okay though. I mean, like I said, I like to wear these on my lanyards too. So I have a, a board and I have lanyards. So one will go on my lanyard, one will go on my board. And who knows, maybe I could trade. Those are my two pins, my two stitch pins. Or maybe I can do this giveaway, like give this one away. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is my haul. It's kind of a big haul, medium big haul. Um, I enjoyed everything I got. I was so excited. I wish I could show you the other stuff, but it's going to have to be secret for now. Um, I'm also excited about the new villains dolls coming out. Are you guys excited about that? I know not all of you guys probably collect dolls, but I do. Uh, I love dolls a lot. Um, I know you guys are probably, um, you know, anxious to see what it's going to be like with the merch pass. For me, um, just a little thing that I'm going to say is merch pass has been awesome for me just because, and it's not that I have like 30 million accounts. I do have like a few yeah, I use for my, you know, my husband and my dad and my mom and brother and whatever. Um, but it's been really good to me because I'm like, I'm like, you know, I have these extra accounts that I can, you know, uh, submit. And I've been actually getting pretty much what I want. I'm not going to lie. So I'm excited to see what it's going to be like for the dolls. Um, the main dolls I want are Maleficent and Evil Queen. I love those two a lot. I know a lot of people are complaining and saying that, you know, it, it looks, they do look, especially the Maleficent one, she looks a lot like the old one that I guess came out before her. I didn't get that one, so I don't really care because I didn't get that one anyway, so I don't really mind it. But tell me what you guys think. If you're going to collect the doll, if you're not, if you're even interested in them, are there any other collections that you're interested in? The next merch pass um, is going to be for, for October for the um, Haunted Mansion. 
and I'm definitely going to go for at least one item. Uh, I'm not crazy about the collection. That's just my personal opinion. I, I wasn't crazy about it. So I'm probably just going to go for one item and that's it. But yeah, other than that, I do have some stuff coming for um, September's mini mouse attraction and i'll try to do that in another video because this video is already getting kind of long so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this uh haul slash rant because i did rant a little bit <laughs> i hope you enjoyed it guys i hope you stay safe out there as always enjoy your day um take time to tell someone you love them because you know what life is short i i really um you know starting to see how life is precious and um just you know, take time to tell someone you love them, hug them, or maybe not hug them if you're, you know, germaphobe like me. <laughs> Just give them like a high five or elbow or fist or whatever. But yeah, take time to, to spend time with the ones you love. And hopefully guys will um, be able to get through this time that has been really hard. But thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!